from Mashamba West Mine in the Katanga. What comes to mind here is purely another masterpiece. Super large diaptase crystals or pretty large for the species. Chunky dark green diaptase crystals with the dusting of some malachite uh, perched on a matrix of dolomite. Let's go through the matrix here. Very similar actually to the Tsumeb dolomite, sort of a grayish color to it. Lovely piece. Now let's first of all take a sideways view at the skull. Go slowly around like this. You'll see the projection of those diaptases off the main ore. Super large diaptase. Of course the name diaptase meaning uh, imitation emerald or some may call it copper emerald. Now we have a individual crystal here. Let me show you. There's the one termination, other face. So we're looking at this one on top now. Just like this super large for the species. This must be at least a centimeter, that crystal, if not a little bit bigger. So under an inch, but maybe going towards just a quarter of an inch, just over a quarter of an inch. And for diaptase, that's pretty, pretty large. And of course, little lawn of uh, malachite in the background. Another artwork from this, well, from the fantabulous deposits of the Katanga, the copper mines of the Congo. In this case, um, from the uh, Mashamba West Mine, or so my supply tells me. I've actually never been underground. I think a lot of our specialists haven't actually been underground on these deposits. You'll find there are central spots where the, the miners would be offering their goods. And we have to believe them as to provenance or locality.